Welcome back to Semi Homemade. I'm Sandra Lee, and today is all about great semi homemade recipe remakes from Tyler Florence and Emerald Lagasse. Now, I've got a great dessert from Emerald. It's his famous chocolate with strawberry crepe and a great caramel sauce. Now, in the store, you can buy crepes pre made. I find them many times in the produce section, but look around and ask your store manager. And they are super, super thin. Now on here, I wanna put chocolate hazelnut. This is a great, creamy, decadent spread. And I'm just gonna put it over half. And be careful with these because they are fragile. And this is a very thick hazelnut spread. The strawberries I have in front of me are already macerating. Now all that is is just cut up strawberries with a little bit of sugar, a tablespoon on top of that. Then to this, I'm gonna add just two tablespoons of orange liqueur. And macerating just brings out all the natural juices of the strawberries. And if you're making this for kids, you can always substitute this for orange juice. I'm gonna give this a stir. Now some strawberries go on here. And whenever I've been to any of Emerald's restaurants, I have to tell you, there's always a great crepe on the menu. All I'm gonna do is just fold the store-bought crepe over this. And by the way, that's your semi-homemade part right there. And then fold this over carefully. You can see all that chocolate and then the strawberries are a bit of a surprise. Then on here, I wanna put some caramel sauce. Normally, you might put this over ice cream, but I'm putting it right over this crepe. Then I'm going to put on a little bit of whipped topping. Just take a nice dollop. And to make it even more special, I'm just going to put a sprinkle of cocoa powder over this. That is one recipe that the entire family is going to absolutely love. Now, since the boys, Emerald and Tyler, have given me their recipes to semi-homemake, I'm going to make them a boy cocktail. And it starts off with bourbon. And I'm going to put it in a little martini glass there. And it's going to be 50% bourbon, or half bourbon. And then half pomegranate juice, and this is called the ultimate BAM. And when you taste it, you will know why. Okay, now a splash of orange liqueur. And then garnish with a little piece of orange. Let's see, a little taste test. Mm. Pretty good, boys. Very, very nice. Cheers. Now come with me because I have a great tablescape to show you. Come on. I think that this is a table that both Tyler and Emerald would love. Now, the inspiration came from Emerald's restaurant in Miami that had these great red chairs. And I thought, red, of course, how cool for a guy party. First, I found this great fabric. Look at this, it's really retro with all these red circles on them. Very fun and very festive. And then I found all these great candlesticks. So it's like one huge candle opera. Isn't it fantastic? Just pillar candles in white really illuminate the room. And then for each place setting, I want to do something a little special. Now, each guest's name has been put onto a paper leaf. And I bought these already cut out at the stationery store. How great is that? And then this right here is a dish towel. And the reason for the dish towel, you know, Emerald always puts a dish towel on his shoulder. So that's actually the favor. Inside here is Emerald's inspired steak Diane recipe for all my guests. And these are just little reusable ceramic tiles that you can embellish with a name or maybe the word enjoy or how about bam. All those great recipes inspired by Emerald and Tyler. By the way, they're available on Food Network's website, so log on and download them, and you can have any of those great dishes on your table 